<sighs> okay, I just finished another workout uh, with my trainer. Full body workout. But no, not full body. She said it was a interior something, like working on the front part of my body. And um, lately, as I've been going to sleep, I've been finding myself feeling a lot stronger. Like day in, day out. There is a price to working out, which is you get tired a lot. Not in the long term, but temporarily. You work out for it, you know, you might be tired the rest of the day and you can do the other functions. You can still do other stuff, but it'll be more on autopilot. You can't put as much energy into them in the short term. But in the long run, you're able to do a lot more. You're able to optimize every aspect of your life because this body, this vessel, this thing that you're living in is so functional. It's so strong. It has resilience to things that it otherwise wouldn't have. There are diseases that you would not contract that you would if you had this, uh, if, you, if you didn't have the fitness. There are capabilities and imaginations you can do with your body, your mind, your life that you wouldn't have if you were stuck in a, in, a, in, a, in a prison, in a prison that's not strong, in a prison you can't break out of. So, you know, I care about tennis a lot, but I've been feeling more and more that I care about being strong and athletic, uh, of which tennis is just a subset. And it's interesting because um, a lot of times you get into things with certain motivations uh, and then you start to love the thing a lot. And then that becomes your purpose. So I got into fitness training, not because like doing, getting trained, not because I like fitness, not because I like working out, but because I want to be a better tennis player. But as time has gone on, sometimes I actually enjoy working out more than I like playing tennis. It's certainly less frustrating because I have somebody there to tell me what to do and it doesn't take, in, in some aspects, it doesn't take as much finesse and skill as perfectly striking a shot and strategizing and adjusting to different play styles and everything that tennis embodies. But a few things that I learned during the fitness session today is that when you get pushed to the brink, when you have a trainer who's saying you have eight minutes to do four sets of four exercises and you can't break it, you have to be on the nose with everything and inefficiencies get cut out. This happens in business too and there's a lot of pressure. You must cut inefficiencies, work faster, work more intelligently, get past clutter in your mind and resistance in your body that's telling you to take it easy, take it slow. And so one thing, I finished a set of um, uh, jump lunges, split jump lunges, and I go, <sighs> not right. That's not the right way to breathe. That's panting like a dog. That's not, you want to minimize the amount of breaths. You want to slow down your breathing to, in through the nose, out through the nose or the mouth, slow it down. But that takes a manual override of the natural being tired, being scurried. And then you recover faster and you're doing it correctly. And the whole thing is less daunting. Every, every thing you do right ends up building upon itself. And when you're pushed to the brim, you must do many things right. So there is actually an art to working out, an art to fitness, which I didn't appreciate before. A lot of it doing with breathing, a lot of it doing with focus, and a lot of it doing with simply allowing yourself to suffer. It's, uh, there's a reason people don't do it. And there's a reason people do do it. People who do do it, they get, they see the benefits, they get addicted to feeling good in the long term. They, they, they love how they look, they love how they feel, and they know that they're, they're doing a self-development. And people who don't, I understand. I mean, I used to not work out a lot, and um, it's, it's hard. That's what it is. It's very difficult. But you come here, you, you, you check your pleasure at the door. You're not here for pleasure. You're here for discomfort. You're here for a little bit of pain. You're here for self-development. You're here for being in training. I think my dad told me that Arabian horses used to be, uh, or maybe still are, always the most successful in races. And that's because they're training in the desert. They're training in the desert. That is such a tough condition. And they run in sand. So when there's sand, their hoof goes in, and then they have to push out rather than on hard, you know, hard ground where you can just you know, bounce off regularly. They have to push themselves out. So the little micro joints, the, the musculatures get stronger. And over the course of time, they become much stronger. And then those horses then evolve over, you know, centuries. And then they become the strongest breed. So, you know, actually speaking of, I don't know if you can see, know you can see that. Um, my trainer had me get on the ground and like from that side of the court to that side of the court, like sort of bear crawl walk. And I'm like, the ground is hot. She's like, no, it's not. I said, okay. And I did it. And I did it back. And I'm like, my hand is hurting. My hand is burned. 
She's like, no, it's not burned. But it did get burned. And then we didn't do any more stuff on the ground. It's two o'clock on, 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 on in October in Florida. And, um, but I did it. I did it. And you know what? It's okay. Yeah, it's not good. And I think I have it. The other hand too? I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's the other hand too. But I did it. I did it. And I'm okay. That's what it is. You take the heat and ultimately you're okay. Uh, Florida, I think, is even better than a desert climate for training of anything because it's so humid. I think humidity adds dimensions of difficulty to anything. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think there's a world of self-progress, human progress, societal progress to be done in the realm of simply just physical fitness. There are many more aspects to life too, but this is a very important one. I mean, John F. Kennedy said, said or wrote that it's a it's of national importance for I think even national security maybe he said that people are physically fit so that America can carry out its mission and this but this applies to any people at any time at any place so yeah I mean the thing is at some point everybody passes through their body and their life for some sooner than others but for the time being it's important to make sure that where you are you age as slowly and gracefully as possible by taking the utmost care holistically with um, with regard to fitness with regard to mental uh, mental health emotional health relationships everything so those are my few cents about that right now and I do enjoy the um, I enjoy the feeling of being out here in the ultimate sense I do because this is what I was meant to do I, I because that's what I'm doing I'm doing it I was meant to do this I was meant to do all this fitness and train my body to the highest standard and um, apparently I'm meant to do videos too because I'm doing that too I've been doing it for a while so there's no feeling like uh, purpose and then seeing your purpose get fulfilled through the very hard work the lots of sweat the lots of suffering and agony that come along with any endeavor but all that suffering and sweat and agony is always 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 worth it when the cause is a good one and you feel it when you're through with it. I was in India, my trainer, we just finished a training session. My trainer said, uh, you feeling good? I'm like, yeah, I'm all, I always feel good after the workout's done. And I feel good right now. And honestly, in the moments that I was doing the workout, it was just time, it was just an hour. What's an hour? I have, I have 24 hours a day. I can spend an hour doing that. I can spend an hour suffering. I've got everything else, I feel good. I can feel good or bad, I can feel whatever way, every other hour. What's wrong with doing it for one hour? What's wrong with suffering for one hour for what's good for me? That's my take on it.